All right, you guys, so it is about that time for me to start packing my hospital bag. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm bringing. Um, I will have a later on video explaining like my whole birth story because I actually was supposed to do a home birth, but you know, life is complicated. So now <laughs> I have to do a hospital birth. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I'm bringing. And yeah. This is This is baby. Hi, baby. Oh. Well, I might as well just show you guys this right now, but I will have to bring a cooler because I will be keeping my placenta. So that's my cooler. Helpful for you guys. Leave any comments below if you guys are pregnant too or, you know, planning on getting pregnant. Tell me your due dates, all that beautiful stuff. I'm really excited for baby. So <laughs> she's almost here. Two more weeks. Two more weeks? Two more weeks. So, I'm about to be a mom and it hasn't hit me yet. Minus the fact that I got really big this last month, it still hasn't hit me. So you guys, I have three outfits. So I'm just packing like, you know, smacky dresses with like stretch. So I have this black one here and then I have my little bodysuit from Bump Suit, which is like a maternity line. Their stuff is really comfortable. And you could use code I am Linda Elaine for their stuff and save some money. I love all their stuff. That's like the only, well, not the only, but I have maybe two maternity lines that I wore, but Bump Suit is definitely one of my favorites. Then I just have this regular maxi dress, which is very wrinkled. We won't talk about it. Um, I'm packing this girdle. This is also from Bump Suit. So they have postpartum clothes as well. So this is just gonna help hold everything into place after I give birth to baby. Then I have some nursing pads. I'm not gonna bring all of them. I'm just gonna take out just a few just for my boobies if they leak. So I got that. I'm bringing an extra sheet just because I do have OCD and my friend that is holding the camera reminded me of that. <laughs> So I'm bringing an extra sheet. I have my um, iPhone charger as well as my iPad charger. So I have those. Then I'm bringing some postpartum pads. This is from Honey Pop. And these are, I've used her regular pads before and they're like infused with like the mint, the lavender, and the aloe so it feels really good. But her postpartum is also the same so hopefully that'll be really refreshing for my little pom pom. Okay. <laughs> then um, I am bringing some cleansing wipes just because you know I heard that it's real crazy if you got to do number two. So I'm bringing some wipes and I get these from Amazon and they're 99% water and then the rest is like essential oils and stuff like that. So that's why I have these ones and they're flushable and biodegradable. So I love these cleansing wipes. Then I just got like very few toiletries cause I'm not planning on being there forever. So <laughs> I have my um, face wash from Youth to the People and then um, some face oil from Ancient Cosmetics and then just my Schmidt's deodorant. Then y'all know my baby hair, <laughs> gotta be done, <laughs> you know. So I'm just bringing some edge control on my baby hair brush. Um, then I have just a couple pairs of socks. So these ones are like the non-slip hospital ones and then these are just some regular like long socks. Then I have my Expectful Affirmation deck. So this is for expecting and new mom. So it's just affirmation cards. I used to choose them while I was pregnant, like in the morning to like help me get through the day. But they're also really good for birth as well. So I'll have this deck with me. Then I am bringing my tripod because I am filming this experience. So I have my tripod. I have this little two-piece pajama set because it's just going to be easy just to pop my little teta out, <laughs> teta, booby, uh -huh, my boob out. 
So I have that, but then I also am packing um, a robe as well, just in case I get cold because I don't know. It's up and down with me. I've been hot, but I've been cold. So I, I don't, I don't know. So I'm going to bring it just in case. Then my full locks will most likely be out unless she surprised us and came today. <laughs> so um, I'll have my regular locks out. So I am packing a headscarf so I can keep my locks nice and you know protected and then i'm packing two nursing bras these are also these are from blanky these are um the nursing bras that i showed in the haul that i had from them so i'm packing these because they are comfortable i wish they were a size bigger because my boobs did get much bigger but they're still comfortable so i'm going to bring those then i just have some underwear um all of them have cotton crotches well all my underwear has cotton crotches but then i just have some like just in case <laughs> some big ones but the rest of them are like my regular um panties that i usually wear because they are very comfortable and then um i am not going to bring this whole thing but i will be bringing some of these overnight pads as well because it has a bigger back so 75% wider back for the poise so I am going to bring a few of these as well as some shea butter and some face wipes for myself so this is just shea butter and some Burt's Bees face wipes and then, <laughs> then I'm also going to bring my Nordic Naturals this is their postnatal omegas so I'll be taking these as well and then I'm going to have some um, body wash for myself as well so um, I will be using my favorite, which is the cast style soap. So also, <laughs> I will be packing a washcloth and a towel as well. I'm also bringing my Bluetooth speaker um, so that I could play music and sound, crystal sound bowls or singing Tibetan bowls, whatever feels right at the time, I guess. So I have this as well as some slippers these are my slippers that I bring everywhere when I'm going to like hotels and now you know a hospital but I never use them for inside but you know they cute so I like to use them for like you know going out even though they slippers okay I'll also be packing my iPad but I'm not gonna put it in my bag just yet hopefully I'll remember <laughs> when it's time to actually leave but I do want to have my iPad but um for baby I'm going to be bringing my Honest Organic Cotton Dry Wipe. So pretty much these, you just have to wet them. And it's just um, a natural way to keep your baby clean. I also have um, a pack of the newborn diapers for her as well. So that'll be for her. I probably won't bring the whole pack as well because there's so many in there. But that's what I'll be using. Then I do have her little blankie, her little crochet blanket that I'll be bringing. I'll also be using this as her car seat cover. And then for outfit choices, it's all dependent on when she's born, obviously, and how long we're in the hospital. But in the daytime, it gets really hot here. So it's about like 100 to like 110 degrees. So if she is born in the daytime, she has these two little cute little tie-dye outfits. And I'm obsessed with both of them because you guys know I'm a little hippie. So my baby's going to be a little hippie with me. So that'll be her daytime outfits if she's born in the daytime. But if she does come at night, the temperature does drop. So it goes down to like 60 and things like that. So we have some socks for her, her little mittens. And then we have her swaddle. And her hat, this is from Ebony Seeds. This is a black owned company. You could use code I am Linda Elaine as well to save for her website. She has the cutest little like neutral clothes if you're like me and you like neutrals. She has so many. So I love her stuff. So this is a swaddle and a hat and then just a regular like white onesie for baby um, for sleeping. And then I also have... Um... This is like supposed to be like their little swaddle onesie from Bonzi. And, um, you know, it has like feet covers and then it also has a little mittens as well. Does it have mittens? 
yeah, it has a little mittens as well. So again, if she's born a little bit later, that's why we have the long sleeves for her. But this also is code I am Linda Yelene. You could save on their website as well. They have a lot of neutrals as well. So that's so why I'm sticking with these brands. And this is also from Ebony Seeds. And it's just another one that has her little feet covered. And then they also have the little mittens on it as well. So just in case she's born at night, that'll keep her warm. And then I do have this like swaddle from Wild Co. It is really big, but it's supposed to be their sleep sack. So this is their newborn size. Even though it's big, it's supposed to be for them. But I don't know if I'll use it per se just yet. But I believe this size goes up to like eight months or something like that. I can't remember. But again, um, I'm going to bring it just in case. And I'm Linda Elaine. Also will save me money on Wild Co. as well. And I don't remember who gave me this bag, but somebody sent me this bag and like I like the moment I opened it, I was like, wow, this is going to be my hospital bag. So I'm going to try to figure out who sent this to me and then I will put the information somewhere in the video and in the description box below. But I just think it's so cute and it's obviously a black owned company. So if I figure it out, I will let you guys know. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my hospital bag. And... I hope I don't need anything else because this feels like I'm packing my whole life. All right, guys, so that is it. If you have any questions or you also are expecting, leave your due dates below. I'm super nervous to be a mom. I still can't believe it. This is really crazy for me. And again, I think I mentioned this earlier, but I will definitely have a video later on about my birth story because I did not plan on having a hospital birth at all. So this is still something that I'm processing. But we're here now, so I hope this video helps you guys out. All right? So...